So what is actually going on is that it's taking the MIDI which is here and side chaining as a result of that. Which is really, really interesting, but really unhelpful if you don't know what's going on. So what we actually have to do is disable that and then That is exactly what we're looking for. Hello. So this is a relatively low effort video. This is just me going through how to use FabFilter Pro, uh, Pro C2 for doing side chaining. And seven years ago, the Reaper blog made this great video explaining how to do this. And that's lovely, except it actually doesn't fix Pro C2, um, which is my compressor of choice. And this was uh, Reaper Blog's video was seven years ago, and then three years after that, uh, Emil Anderson Audio posted this really, really great comment. And I'm just going to work through this comment. I mean, it's it's really standard um, stuff once you actually know what's going on. It's to do with this MIDI learn and disabling uh, MIDI uh, from being a sidechain because Pro C hello Pro C can actually sidechain off MIDI, and that is enabled by default, which gets in the way of other side chaining that we might want to do. I will do my best to explain what I'm talking about. So, kick drum. What's going on here and what we're trying to aim for is the fact that we're going to be using the kick to uh, side chain compress um, the synth, which just means that we're going to get ducking in the synth sound every time there is a kick drum. It's a really, really standard technique. So, what we're going to be doing uh, is taking our instance of Proce. Uh, just just for clarity, I will just start this. I'm using Pigments as my synth, I just love it. It's just my synth of choice. Uh, and Proce 2 is also my compressor of choice. So what we can do is we can take the tr uh, track that we're looking to do the uh, side chaining from, and we go root, and we can click and drag that over here. And then this becomes, we see uh, the, the sending from the kick into channels three and four, which if we look in the routing pins, are used here for side chain left and side chain right. And so what you would expect to do is you click on the side chain and we go in and we're taking an external thing. So we click there and then everything should be side chained. And if you hit play, we're not getting that because all we're getting is this straight line. And that is because MIDI, and um, MIDI is enabled as a side chaining source. So what is actually going on is that it's taking the MIDI which is here and side chaining as a result of that. Which is really really interesting, but really unhelpful if you don't know what's going on. So what we actually have to do is disable that, and then that is exactly what we're looking for. And then obviously we can play. Etc. Cetera, Etc. Cetera. But yeah, so everything boils down to the lack of the or, or uh, not realizing that enable MIDI is um, enabled, <laughs> basically, and we need to disable enable MIDI for this to actually work. And that has caused me a not inconsiderable amount of stress. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, it has caused me some issues in the past. Anyway, so this is a video, like I said, primarily for me. But if this is a value to anyone else, great, wonderful. Have yourselves a lovely, lovely day, and have a, um, that's it. Have a lovely, lovely day. End of fun.